Right now, though, it's 601 and take a look at this smoke from those wildfires in Canada captured from space. Now the smoke has drifted south, even reaching here in the Carolinas. And as you just heard from meteorologist Eric Garlick, it's triggered that code red, which you see here for that air quality, which is why our team declared that first alert of weather day. And our team coverage continues with Faith Alfred. She's live just outside uptown this morning. Faith, this weather could be dangerous for some folks. Yeah, Alex, I've been in Elizabeth Park for just about an hour here, and since I've been here, people are starting their morning routines. We've seen those joggers out, and there are some warnings that they should be aware of. But before we do that, I'm going to show you guys what I'm seeing. Again, we've been in Elizabeth Park, and just over the, towards the Charlotte skyline, you're going to see where that haze is. Now that that sun's come out, you can really see it near that truest building. So that's what people are going to be seeing this morning, but not only seeing it, they're going to smell it. And if you're like me, you're going to also feel it. Now, the sun, um, you can definitely um, see the difference from yesterday. Now, it's coming from the wildfires up in Canada, burning now for weeks, and the right conditions bringing that smoke to the U.S. Take a look at this smoke obscuring from the New York City skyline, making it hard to breathe and making it especially dangerous for those with certain health conditions. Now, we spoke with an expert on an environmental sciences from UNC Chapel Hill about these most successful to these conditions. One of the sensitive groups, which includes people who are young or aged, and also people who have um, some kind of an underlying condition related to the lung or the heart, and even pregnant women, for example. The big concern becomes small those small pollution particles that can make their way into your lungs and possibly your bloodstream. Now, experts suggest if you are at a high risk, you should avoid being outside today. Now, if you do have to be outside, they are suggesting that you limit your time and listen to your body. If you are feeling any of those symptoms, you're going to want to call your doctor. So just be a warn this morning and take your time and again, limit your time outside. Live in Charlotte, Faith Alford, WBTV on your side.